What's up, everybody? Really quickly, I just wanted to make it really clear that I was not accusing our brother Yo Gotti of anything. A lot of the things that I was talking about was very circumstantial. We don't know if that brother had anything to do with Dolph's murder. Um, but I will say that I really didn't like the fact that Yo Gotti, you know, he saw the brother making strides, lead a brother alone, let him do his thing. When you when I think about Memphis, Tennessee, I don't care what the street rhetoric is, I there's not a proclaimed king of Memphis, right? And you know, I just kind of look at that mindset and even that the territory illness of some of our brothers, and it's like you're not the king of Memphis, you know? And that mentality is what will have many of you killing your brothers because you are kinging yourselves artificially. A lot of you are not kings. You're not kings. You are not kings, right? And I think if you really knew your, you know, real identity, you would be a lot more humble, right? You would be a lot more humble, right? You would be ministering to your brothers instead of killing them. So, I just wanted to put this little note out there, you know, because, you know, we we see you, Gotti. You got slaves. You you got slaves. You, you sign in our brothers and sisters in these 360 deals, just like those little colonizers, just like those colonizers. So, you know, we'll pray for all of our brothers and we'll even pray for you, Gotti, you know, and we'll pray for your thirst in Satan's world. May you repent. May you repent, my brother, right? And I ain't talking about for anything other than you trying to own your other brothers like these colonizers in the music industry. Tell the truth, bro. You took some notes from those folks and now you owning your folks. Shame on you. Shame. Everybody can eat. Everybody can eat. Everybody can eat.